What's a Mercs? It's Joe here, and today we're starting a Let's Play of Fallout Frost version 0.4. This is the special that I have chosen. We are going with 8, 2, 6, 7, 1, 3, and 1. This is so I can get Party Boy right away. This is so I can get things like Strong Back right away. I accidentally took a point out. And everything else. I also made it so that I can get Sneak right away, because that's also something else I might need. And we will be missing out on things like Locksmith hacker and things of that nature, but that's okay. I think we're going for a mostly melee build this time around, so gun nut won't even be that useful to us, but we'll see. We'll probably still use guns because, hey, it's Frost, and we gotta do what we gotta do. So, anyway, we're gonna be taking the Axis Tunnel start this time, since last time, I think, did we do Shipwreck last time? I think so. And the time before that, we did, uh, the Highway start, I believe? Let's read this scrawled note. Now, we've already read most of these notes from Fallout Frost, my previous playthroughs, and since a lot of people are watching from previous playthroughs, I'm just going to go ahead and skip it. You can pause it if you want to read the note, but I am no longer going to read it unless it is a new note, because there are new notes added to Fallout Frost that add some story to some upcoming areas, like Nuka World. Also, Something that's interesting is the newest version of Fallout Frost works with the Gas Mask mod, the Gas Mask of the Wasteland, which I had before, but it wasn't properly implemented. Let's see what it looks like when it is properly implemented. Implemented, if I can say words. Look at that. Animation and everything. We have breathing sounds. We have a mask on. We have to wipe this thing down if it gets dirty. Uh, I think... I think I actually do- oh, it's because- okay, yeah, when we start Frost, it takes everything away from us. When, uh, oh wait, no, it's an aid. Duh. And then we have our- we have three filters, and then this is to replace. I wonder- hmm. I might want to actually make that hotkeyed. We'll see how much I actually have to use it later on. I'm actually not 100% sure. But, yeah, I'm pretty interested in the new mod. I'd need to see how all the filter works and how long filters last, because I don't know. I didn't look into it, I just kind of went with it, so I guess we'll see. But let's go ahead and grab some bottles, we're definitely going to need them. Antiseptic is good, Sunshine at Johnny's Journal, we've already read that in the past, although I will bring it up just so anyone can read it if they choose so. And there you go. Uh, turpentine. Yeah, sure. I think turpentine has uh, acid in it, if I remember correctly. Janice's journal. See, I've read, I think these notes I've read at least two or three times by now, because this is, I mean, we've been here before. Lead pipe. There we go. Our first weapon. That is very helpful. Let's go ahead and hotkey that to one. And I think we're pretty good. I'll take duct tape. And yeah, let's get out of here. Just want to be careful, because we don't have sneak right away. Although I would like to save right away. We used to be able to use this bed to save. Did they change that? Can you? Shopping cart. Thank you. It looks like... Oh, yeah, I can. Uh, eh, yeah, sure. Let's get our first save in. We probably shouldn't need to right away, but it makes me feel better that at least we get it in. Because if we do die, we will lose our character creation, even though I don't ever make my character look any different, because I don't care. But, you know. Another old note. Chemistry station, chemistry station, chemistry station. Uh, let's see here. I wonder if there's anything new with the new version of Fallout Frost. Robot repair kit. So, Automatron is on now. That's something that's new. Automatron is on. Nuka World is on. Uh, the armors from those packs have been implemented. There's a new faction. I don't know all the changes, but for the most part, there are a decent amount of cool things, and I'm pretty interested. Ibot Lantern? Okay, I think that's Automatron stuff. Gas Mask Filter. Gas Mask Dirty Filter. We need Scavenger for this. Use in conjunction with a gas mask to filter radioactive particulates. Okay. So, we can make that. I think we can get Scrounger, right? Scrounger is like... Oh, no, we can't. Okay, well, if we get a Luck Bobblehead, we should be able to make it. That's fine. And... Oh, you know what? Before I forget, actually, what we're going to do is go to Camping Gear. We're going to go down to our sleeping bag, and I'm going to tag for search. I just need leather. Not really that bad. Leather is easy to come by. 
We should find it down here, actually. In fact, I probably could scrap the suit to get it. Oh, God. Don't want to get any radiation yet. We're not even outside. Let's go left first. I believe this is just a locked door. But might as well double check, just in case things have changed. Nope, locked door. Forward, I believe, is to Valenti Station, right? No, that's just a subway line. I think Valenti is that way, though, if you keep going. It's locked, but... And then this is to uh, that scaver outpost, which I honestly cannot remember the name of, unless this is Valenti. No. Uh, what's... Man, I can't remember the name. Uh, we'll figure it out once we go there, but... Man, I remember fighting this place in the first playthrough and, like, having such a hard time. Hard time, can't even speak. I can't even remember the name now. Alright, so we'll probably using melee vats a lot. Now, he did nerf the range of melee vats, and he also nerfed the ripper in this version, so that's something. I'm just gonna rush you and start beating you in vats. Because you cannot really react. I mean, that was probably stupid of me, but you know. Oh. It's probably safer for me to just do this, but you know. Playing safe ain't as fun, you know what I'm saying. Farmhand clothes. No damage resistance. Okay, let's go ahead and throw the board on. I think. Mmm, don't want slow or fast. I kinda want fast. Pipe wrench. Medium. Yeah, okay, we'll just use the pipe wrench. I think that's better. Two damage resistance versus... Two. Okay. You know, use the pipe wrench. Anything new to cook? Uh, doesn't look like it, unless there's maybe a food in here that's been changed. I think it just saw... Didn't I see Nuka stuff? Nuka Lurk. Yeah, there's that, but I don't think that's actually something I can make in Frost. At least not yet. Nuka World's world space isn't actually implemented in Frost yet, I don't believe. It will be in the next update. There are some notes and stuff around, though, that start to implement it in the world space. Like, the story is there for it, and it starts to get introduced. However, it's not actually in yet, and I believe this is the way to that station I was thinking of. I just want to know the name real quick. It's going to bug the hell out of me. Also, I think there's something in here to loot. Yeah, here we go. We got Molotovs, not bad. We got a fuse, don't really need that. It is very dark, we really could use a flashlight, which I'm sure we'll pick up one soon. But it won't be for a little while, I'm afraid. Scully, that's what it was called, Scully Station. Now, Scully Station has people with guns, and I am not confident in taking them down with just a pipe wrench and daddy-o. I think I'm going to need to get jet, grenades, more than just a Molotov. I just need more things. So we need to go outside and start scavenging. Also, unlike last time, we will be building a base this time. We're not taking the Wanderer perk because, you know, the Wanderer build is interesting and all. However, I just prefer building a base. I think it's more fun. So we're going to build a base. Can't remember if there's anyone over here. But that's fine. We'll figure it out. Actually, yeah, there will be. I'm pretty sure people are living over here. We gotta be careful. Uh, do I just want to get out of here? Oh, okay, that's locked anyway. Fine. Fine, fine. Alright, well, there's only one way to go if we want to go forward, or we could head back to the hallway that we came out of. I'm gonna see how going forward treats us, though. Also, take a good look at our AP and HP right now. See how there's no red there? Whew, that is not gonna last for long. Not at all, but it is nice to see. If I only had a body hmm. That is unfortunate. Okay. So, yeah, that's another thing. We're not going to have lockpicking this time. I don't know how it's going to go without lockpicking, because we're, we're putting our stats elsewhere, which helps us out, you know, getting party boy right away, stuff like that. However, without lockpicking... Hmm, we are at a pretty big disadvantage, and I think we're two away, right? So if I get the Perception Bobblehead and I get the Special Book, I could get Locksmith. So, eh, maybe I will get that, because Locksmith is pretty damn useful, no matter what you're using it for. Especially if you're using it to go through doorways. Hmm... 
Gate key? Okay. Ghouls, I hear them on the other side of that. And thus the radiation starts. It is so dark in here, I can't see a thing. That is gonna be how it's gotta be. This is the sewer. This will this is actually an exit, I believe, if I remember correctly. I kinda wanna get out of here. Is this an exit? I actually don't remember. I think that might lead to more combat. I want to get out of here. I don't... Oh, dog. It's very hard to see right now. There he is. Double dose of dog. Alright. We're good. Now, unfortunately, we can't take any of their meat right now because we don't have the hunter perk, but we'll be getting that eventually. I, I can't see three feet in fucking front of me. I gotta run through this because, frankly, there we go. It's a bit better. Feral ghoul. Um, nah. Nah, let's go back. I don't want to fight a bunch of ghouls. Not with just a pipe wrench and nothing to heal. Let's think here. I'm just gonna take a chance and jump down. Yeah, I don't remember where this goes, but fuck it. Let's just jump down. Does this go outside? Sewers. I, th I knew it went to the sewers, but I also thought there's a way outside. Door great, door great, door great. Um, great storm to lead outside. We're trying to get outside of the sewer. We need to go somewhere where I can actually start scavenging the surface. Also, I want to test out the gas mask. Oh, no. Um, is, this the, is that a Maldi man? Yeah, that's... Never mind. Sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you. I remember where that leads now. We do not want to go that way. Hell no, not right now. Little bit, um... A little bit early for that. Slightly early. Go ahead this way. I believe this is, might be a scaver area. I can't remember though. It's been so long since I've actually been in this subway. You think we're gonna catch this oh. Pikmin psycho? No, I don't know. Okay, I know where we are now. Let's go ahead and equip our Molotov. Won't leave a man breathing after he's hunted our crew. I heard Pikmin skin Roy alive after he snatched him. Let the rats get out. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. No joke. The faster we clip this asshole, the better. Always feels like someone's watching me again. Just go ahead and fill up all the water. Okay, I wonder if putting a gas mask on prevents ambient radiation like that. <gasps> That'd be nice, but I don't think it does. Okay, it helps. It does not prevent. Take it off, take it off. These are molded men! Oh! Okay. Alright. Well, good thing we saved before, huh? I thought those were gonna be scavers. I was wrong. Alright. Now we know which way we're going. Let's go ahead and grab that stuff. Let's grab the bottle. We're not going that way anymore. We're gonna go directly down the middle, however, I'm gonna kill those people in the front. Also, I wanna make sure I mark my... Where is it? Camping gear. Mark. There you go. Alright, let's go back and kill the people on the right side here, and then we're gonna go up that way. Because that is definitely the safer way to go. Malden men are not something we want to be fighting this early on. We do not have a melee weapon that can pierce their armor effectively. I don't remember Malden men being there, so that seems different. Possibly, I don't know. Um, what is that? I saw a Malden man with it. What is that? That's a new weapon. Whoa, okay. Okay. Thought I blocked that. Thought I got the block off. That is a new weapon, though. That is new. To okay, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna just let you guys know right now. I've uh, not actually had the opportunity to play Fallout Nuka World. I've I've never played it. I've never even been to the world space because when it came out, I was not playing Fallout at the time, and my save was not even compatible with it, so I didn't even bother. And because of that. I never got to experience Nuke World, so I have no idea what it looks Well, I know what it looks like. I've seen videos, but I haven't spoiled myself to it, so I don't know what it looks like. So when it does come into Frost, it'll be fun. But I don't know what new stuff's added. I know if, I know some of the like I know some of the guns, but 
I don't think that torch is added. I think that's a frost thing. Looks like the other guy didn't spawn this time. Great baseball bat. That is a very nice thing to start out with. It, did he not spawn? Okay, good. <gasps> frag grenade? Frag mine? Very nice. All right. Now this starts a bit better. Granted, <laughs> probably should have died that one time, but you know, whatever. My fault. Let's go ahead and grab the Molotovs that are over here. Molotov? I put a B in there. Molotov. Grab those, and let's get the hell out of here. Uh, your bottle, too. I'm going to save one last time, and then we're going out through the center hallway. Now that we have our dying spree, we don't need to waste any more time. We just have to get out of the subway. Again, I'm really curious to see how long these filters last. I would imagine they last, I don't know, 15 minutes each, maybe? I don't know, that seems low, but then again, if you want it to be an active gameplay element, you kind of have to make it low. Because, like, I don't know. We'll see. It's kind of like how, in, like, space games, you know, you, you know, oxygen, that only lasts, like, 5-10 minutes. But in real life, oxygen lasts a lot longer than that in your spacesuit. Um, it's it, it's kind of gameplay reasons. Which, I mean, you know, there's a point where you have to choose a balance between it. Okay, so we went this way before. That's the way we went. I'm going to grab this key real quick. I'm gonna head this way. Alright, small little cut there. Now, if I remember correctly, this is the entrance to downtown. Also, we're gonna need these mines, so let's just go ahead and grab them. Is this what I think it is? Yeah, the downtown entrance. Now, we do not have a key to it, so we can't get in that way, at least not right now. We'll have to go a different way. And I think I want to put those frag mines to use right away and take out the ghouls that I heard on the other side of the door here. Let me go ahead and chuck one of these down. And let me get a frag grenade out and just chuck it in the group there. I killed some of them. Now, are they going to come out of there? Uh, hey, buddy, I'm right here. You want to fight? Come on. I'm gonna blow myself up here. Yeah, it looks like they actually can't come out of there. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of ambient radiation, so I'm gonna put the gas mask on so I don't get too much of it. Alright, one down. There's still one more. Where's that radiation coming from? You almost had it, buddy. I'll give you that. You almost had it. I leveled up. Good. Is that everyone I think it is? Where is that radiation coming from? It's actually bothering me. Hmm. Alright. That's not what I wanted to try. I wanted to see if this gas mask no, had a flashlight. We did level up, though. So let's go ahead and deal with that. Um, do I want to go right for big leagues? Or do I want to go right for strong back? I don't need strong back right away. I could go right for rad resistant. I could go right for party boy. Uh, sneak is also a good one. So is hunter and life giver. Wanderer, no. Hmm. Oh, Warrior Monk's a new mod, or a new mod, a new, uh, uh, what is it called? Perk 2. It does stuff with sanity. It does punching stuff and makes Thorazine better, but chems grant double sanity. It's okay, but frankly, punching attacks, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll try a monk stuff. A monk stuff. <laughs> maybe I'll try a Warrior Monk build. Or... I'll put it into this build later on, but for now, I think I'm gonna play it safe and go with like big leagues. Let's just let's just play it safe and let's start off by making all melee weapons better. I think I might do the punching thing later though, because it seems like fun. And also sanity increasing things are good. Okay, so that actually isn't a way to go. Which means that we have to figure out a way through over here. And we also have to kill the dogs again. Okay, so we do not want to go that way. That way leads to the Malden Men. Both ways, Malden Men. Dogs are to the left and the right. Ooh, close. Oh, that reminds me, there's another new perk in relation to dogs. This one, Canine Trainer. Keep the dogs at bay. Dogs and wolves are now less likely to cripple you. And... I don't, it doesn't have any, it won't actually let me go further, so I think it's only one level. 
which is interesting. I think it's a bug that's showing four, or just like some kind of overlook, oversight, whatever, because it used to be four, but I don't know. Or maybe it's a bug that I don't know how to fix. I don't know, whatever. All right, remember there are ghouls over here. I'm <laughs> fucking happy to take on ghouls. More than happy to take on ghouls instead of Malden men. Fuck the Malden men, honestly. Let's just throw a mine down here. Let's throw another one. Safety mines along the way. There's only one ghoul? Really? I thought there was so many more. God, I'm such an idiot. Oh yeah, uh, glowing ones are also changed. Patriots note we've already read before. Glowing ones now explode with radiation. I will open up the Patriots note, though. So anyone who hasn't read it can read it. But yeah, so glowing ones blow up now with radiation. Like, it's a bit... It's a bit scary. We do not have any ammunition, which, you know, obviously. Let's go ahead and chuck a mine over here. I want to be careful, though, because that might blow me up. Hey! They can't hear me. It seems like... Is it just me, or are the ghouls less reactive than they used to be? I don't know, maybe not. They just seem way less reactive. Maybe I should just be sneaking by these guys, because they seem kind of, like, stupid. Or they're really smart and they know how to dodge my mind, but, like... Like, they found me according to this. There we go. Like, he's having a really difficult time. Maybe I should just go. I have a safety mine. I'm just gonna run past him. Okay, that did it. <laughs> really? Doorways are still very troubling for them. Come on. I see you, buddy. Really? You having... Is it the ghoul giving ambient radiation? The ghouls give ambient radiation now. Or some do. It used to only be the glowing ones. Hmm. That's a bit unfortunate. Alright. Into the subway line we go. Let's go ahead and spam my pip boy out here so we have our screen loaded in. I want to be very careful around here. We don't have any ammo. Granted, again, we're a big leagues, big leagues player as I stumble over my words flawlessly. Ooh, welding stuff. Yeah, that helps. We'll go ahead and put all that on. Um, five. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's good. Now, unfortunately. Okay, no, that only takes up the welding goggles slot. That's fine. How do we look? Fucking horrible. Good to know. Sweet roll. That actually is helpful. We are parched from lack of water. Ooh. Wilhelm's Journal. And nothing else. Tunnelman's hat. Is that any good? Not as good as what I have. I'll take a go on a stick. Wilhelm's Journal. Mm, we've read this one also, so if you want to go ahead and read it, pause it, and do so. Oh, man, is the only way forward through the ghouls? There's no other way. Eh, I mean, we have mines. I guess it's fine. Really? I thought there would be another way. Okay. Wait, is that even forward? Yeah, I think it is. I think there's a way past them. I could just run. It's probably not a good idea. I'm going to chuck them all. That actually seems like a dumb idea. Oh, no. I'm going to accidentally... Yep, only kill one. Whoops. Alright, we gotta be careful here. We don't want to break a limb. Okay, level three. Good. Back up, back up. Which one? This one, this one, this one. Ooh, very close. Very close. We break a limb this early on, we are fucked. Especially if it's a leg. I mean, if it's an arm, whatever. If it's a leg, we're fucked. There we go. Another ghoul. Two more. All right, let's level up. Um, what next? I can go with blacksmith. I think I'm gonna go with sneak. Actually, no. Let's go with something that would pay off big right away. Let's go with rad resistant, because that is definitely gonna have a bonus right away. So make sure there are no mines down here. There's two of them. Baseball, leather. All right, we can make a bed now. 
really should run back and do that. Actually, yeah, I probably do want to do that. Okay. We have to be a little bit more careful than what we're being right now. We're not being super careful. It looks like all ghouls give her amb ambient radiation, or at least most do now, which is a bit unfortunate. Ah! Okay, I didn't break anything. Ooh, okay, you weren't a toughie. Thank fuck. God, a broken limb would be so horrible right now. Alright. We really should turn around and... There's another one in front. In fact, you know what? Yeah. We're, let's, let's go back and make a sleeping bag. Yep. Like, instead of just saying, ah, maybe we should go back. No, we're gonna go back. That actually sounds like a way better idea. Let's play this safe. Super safe. Remember, this is the beginning of the Fallout Frost playthrough. You need to take it as safe as possible, like we always do. Where we won't get very far. We can start taking risks once we actually have, well, items to use in order to take those risks. Like explosives, and drugs, and health, and armor, and ammo and everything that we don't have now. So let's just go back to the chem bench. Oh, I also have the mine, so good thing I came back. Two mines, fucking hell. My memory is horrible. Good thing I came back. So all we're gonna do is go back to the beginning, make our sleeping bed, save, and then we're going to continue on this path. Worst comes worst, I'll go down the Malden Man path, but I don't wanna do that. With the sleeping bag, it will be doable, because we'll be able to save. We'll be a little scummy, but... But... Sometimes you have to be a little scummy. That's my defense of it. <laughs> That's my only defense of it. Sorry. Uh, what do we have for drink? Don't we have one dirty water? No, we don't. Okay. So we're gonna have to go get some water. We have a bunch of bottles we can fill. Let's go ahead and make the sleeping bag. Which, this is weird, it's like combined dresser and thing. Alright, we got a sleeping bag, which is the best item for Fallout Frost. Let's go ahead and throw it on the ground. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything here, like important. I might have. I don't think so. If I did, then, you know, whatever, I can come back. But, oh, radiation, I want to go over there. Alright, let's just go ahead and throw this bad boy down. Also, the scribble. No, I forgot to pick it up this time around. Let's throw this bad boy down. Sleeping bag. And let's go ahead and save the game. Bam. Boom. Saved. What up? Feels fucking good, man. Let's continue on. We have to get out of the subway. That's the main priority. Get past the ghouls, get out of the subway. Is it just me, or is the access tunnel's difficulty a bit higher than it was before? Or maybe I'm just bad because I took so long of a break from Frost. But the first times we've started our runs in the access tunnels, which I think we've only done once before, and then we went and cleared out the access tunnels after being outside, so I guess I don't have that much of a gauge on how hard it is at the beginning, but I don't know, the first time it felt not as difficult as just to get out, then again, I think it's just me being bad. Less so that it's more difficult. Although, I don't know. I'm not sure how much the ghouls were changed. If anything, it'd probably be easier than the first time. Except for the ambient radiation the ghouls give off. Ghouls are weaker indoors. That was changed in point three. They were normal strength indoors at point one, so, you know. Um, I probably should have just saved in here now that I think about it. Why didn't I just fucking save up here? Shit, now I'm gonna have to save again and take the chance of getting tired. And sick. I'm gonna do it though, I have to. We have to take risky saves in the beginning. Plus we have a decent health pool to work with in the event that we do get sick. Alright, now that I've saved, I can take it a little bit less safe and just go kinda all out. Now, radiation still a problem, don't want to get too much, but frankly, there's not too much I can do to avoid it when it comes to these ghouls. Because of their ambient radiation. Niss. Biss. Hello? Another ghoul. Okay, so there's actually an upside to the ghoul ambient radiation. I can see them before we actually get to them. That's kind of cool. I like that mechanic. Horrible perk for Frost. 
let's go with... You know what? Maybe I'll do a cannibal run. I'm not gonna do it now. But if we go fucking full melee, we don't need sanity, do we? See, that's why Warrior Monk is weird, because you don't need sanity for melee, yet it's a, it's a fist build that generates sanity? Like, I don't know. That seems weird. It kind of seems counterproductive. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to get Hunter. Hunter's a really good one early on. Start getting food. That's probably one of the best early perks to get in a survival situation, at least. And this goes to College Square Station. We have made it. That is the outside. We just have to get through a fuck ton of ghouls, which we're gonna do next time. Because I am going to end today's survival here. Thank you to my patrons, The Real Chim Shady and Dr. Shekel for the support. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, check out my Twitter and Discord channel in the description below. And as always, goodbye.